Okay, so I want to show you how to take an image like this and transform it into an image like that. And with and the way we do that is we're going to use the threshold um, adjustment layer. And that is a pretty strong adjustment layer because it's basically the thing that takes it from uh, this to this. We're also going to talk about gradients, which is what you see here. And we're going to talk a little bit about levels. All right. So let's just actually start from scratch. And um, so let's have this image. We're going to bring this image in. We have it here. Let's get started. So I think I'm going to start off with gradients. Um, yeah, let's start off with gradients. Even though this will be the last thing that I, I, I actually add to this, I want to just go ahead and show you some gradients. So we have two colors selected, and if I wanted to change those colors, let's say uh, one of the colors needed to be a very specific color. Like, let's say it needed to be this orange from this photo. So what I would do is I would use my color code um, or my color ID in here and I would select this and copy that um, to copy I just press command C or you can memorize um, <laughs> these these numbers or the the code itself you can memorize that or you can just copy it then if you wanted to bring it in here you can paste it and now you have that exact orange um, and with that exact orange I'm just going to show you the different um, types of gradients we have up here we have up here we have linear and linear is basically straightforward it goes from one color to the next we have radial same thing but in the shape of a circle if we wanted to swap that we can switch those out and we can have um, different gradients in the shapes of a circle then we have the angle gradient which I don't believe I ever used or have ever been requested to use that then we have a reflected gradient which basically puts the same color at each end no matter how you direct it uh, the same color or to switch the color you can also swap it again um, to make it more thin just don't stretch your line as long but if you want to make it thick you can do it like that and last but not least the diamond gradient you do it the same way you can also swap these out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this back to that pink color because I think I like that better and then I'm going to select my linear gradient and I'm just going to go with this or something like this. There we go. And now for now, I'm just going to hide that and I'll bring it back at the very end. But for now, let's talk about threshold. The reason you came. So let's uh, select our threshold. We can either select it right here in our adjustments panel or we can come down here and select it threshold. And this happens. This is really cool. Like we can just adjust it where we have a lot of um, white or a lot of shadows. Um, however you want to make it, you can just adjust it. But the cool thing that I like um, is when you apply multiple um, effects. So let's say I grab my levels or let's let's not even grab the levels yet let's hide threshold and let's first select the blouse or her top I don't know the exact name because I don't wear those but um, so I selected this and now I'm just gonna go to my adjustments layer and I'm gonna select levels and notice that when I select levels look at the black is basically saying that the only thing that's selected in my that's going to be affected by this level adjustment 
is that area that I had selected. So now if I adjust this, notice that the, it changes my blouse or my top. So once I select threshold, I could adjust this. So even if I wanted a lighter color for the threshold, I can come back in here and adjust this and make this darker. So if there were certain areas that I wanted to adjust, really specific areas that I wanted to be darker or to uh, have more detail, then I could do that just by using my levels panel or my levels adjustment layer and um, I can do it that way. So yeah, it's really, really cool. Now, let's say if this was exactly how I wanted it to, to look um, or something about like that, right? Then if I select my gradient layer, I'll just change my blend mode and I could even go something like this which I think is pretty cool.